Hi guys, today I want to come on and do another college advice video. I'm currently coming to you on the floor with literally just my camera and my phone and I'm going to talk to you guys about what you should not bring with you to college. Back to school season is coming up very soon. Um, I'm personally supposed to go back to college in about three weeks so we'll see if like that actually happens because honestly I feel like they're going to like cancel at the last minute. That would really suck. Honestly, I would be really mad. But I know that a lot of you guys are also going to college soon and I wanted to come on and talk about some things that you should not bring with you to college, especially if you're moving into a small dorm room. Um, this can also be applied to any small space I feel, but especially college dorms, like the freshman college dorms, there's so much stuff that you don't need. So as a freshman, I lived in the dorms at my school and there was a lot of stuff I brought that I did not need at all. I don't know why my parents let me bring half the crap that I did, but I'm here to share the knowledge with you guys. I feel like your dorm room and like your overall living situation is a huge part in how well your freshman year or your any year in general is going to go. So I made my list on my phone and I'm going to start off by talking about TVs. So having a television in your dorm room is definitely not necessary. I know a lot of people that do have TVs in their rooms and they don't mind it, but I personally feel like you don't need a TV at all. It's honestly kind of redundant. You know, you have your phone, you'll most likely have your computer, so you can obviously stream whatever TV shows you want. Paying for a TV and then paying to have like cable on your TV is so like just extra I don't know I feel like you don't need it like if you do have the means for that um go for it it's your choice like if you're worried about like wanting a TV um just know that it's not necessary at all it also just kind of takes up extra room like, dorm rooms are already pretty small so I feel like not having a TV is just a little bit of extra space you might need for something else in your room next I put lots of blankets and pillows so um, I know us girls, we love the aesthetic look of blankets and pillows and just having a very cozy, aesthetically pleasing room, but um, it can be a lot when you have multiple blankets and multiple pillows on your bed. The beds are already pretty small, so having a bunch of pillows and blankets overcrowding it is going to make your room look even smaller and um, like kind of claustrophobic. I recommend only bringing one blanket and maybe two throw pillows. All your extra pillows are honestly going to end up on the floor and then um, it's just going to be messy and you don't want that so I recommend only having one throw pillow maybe for your bed and then one throw pillow for like your desk chair because that's what I did and those two pillows still ended up on the floor. Also dorm rooms can get pretty hot. Nowadays I think dorm rooms have AC. Um, at my school we had our own thermostat. Next I'm going to be talking about like clothing and shoes. So as for clothing, I know I personally wanted to bring as much clothes as possible because I felt like I didn't know what I would be doing and that like I would have all these events to go to and I would have all these options to wear clothes. Right when I first moved in I definitely didn't have that much going on. I only had like class and like maybe football games I would go to but other than that I really didn't have that many like nice events that I needed so many clothes and shoes for. So with that being said you don't really need to bring clothes for more than one season. So when you go back to school make sure you only bring clothes for the spring and summertime because um, it's still gonna be pretty hot up until like mid October I feel also you know like depending on where you live I live in South Georgia so um, it's gonna be pretty hot up until at least November because that's just how it is with the exception of a couple of maybe jackets for class and maybe some jeans you really don't need to bring all your big sweaters all your boots all of your like big coats especially not like in August when it's literally blazing hot outside when you move into college they give you a closet a very small closet and a dresser. I know at my school they gave us dressers, but at some other schools I don't they may not give dressers, I don't know. But I couldn't even fit all the clothes I brought into my dresser or my closet because I brought so much stuff. And I kept having to like rearrange things to make things fit and I had to keep clothes in my suitcase because they couldn't fit in my dresser or I didn't have enough hangers or closet space. So just to make it easy on yourself, bring only the clothes that you'll be wearing to class and maybe a couple of dresses and like nice pairs of shoes but overall you really don't need that much clothes especially the first month 
Same for shoes, but honestly, you really don't need more than maybe four pairs of shoes, probably even three. Throughout the time I was at school, the only pairs of shoes I wore 99% of the time were my tennis shoes because, you know, like I'm just walking to class. You're not gonna wear like sandals and like nice shoes to class. You're gonna wear sneakers and that's 99% of the time what you're gonna be doing is just going to class. So you definitely don't need to bring six pairs of heels like I did because I thought I was gonna have all these events to go to, but I really didn't. I um, completely overestimated the amount of shoes I would need. I'm still so like shocked that I brought so many shoes when I did because I literally had six pairs of heels in my closet that I never wore. I never put them on my feet, not once, and they just sat in my closet. At first, only you're only gonna need maybe like three or four pairs of shoes because it's still spring and summertime. So maybe like tennis shoes and sandals. You really don't need anything other than that, especially for the first couple of months. But like if you know that you're gonna have events so if you know that you're gonna be going through like maybe sorority recruitment or if you know that you're going to be like having an audition for a play maybe something like that so yes you don't want to bring over four to five pairs of shoes I think five should be the limit after you're like living there for a while maybe like after a month or so and you realize oh I might want to bring these pairs of shoes for um, this event or something like that then yes feel free to bring more shoes just keep in mind if you bring um, so many pairs of shoes you most likely won't wear them and they're just gonna take up space like if you're an out-of-state student definitely bring like enough clothes until like you know you're gonna have to come back home but if you live like an hour away and you're gonna be going home a lot you definitely don't need to bring that many clothes because you can just bring clothes back and forth and keep your room super neat and tidy and not too cluttered the next thing I want to talk about is food so so as a freshman you're most likely going to have a dining hall pass or the meal plan that they have at your school so with that um, you know you definitely want to take advantage of that because that meal plan is expensive I think mine was like two thousand dollars so um, that's a lot of money for food don't get me wrong when I was living in freshman dorms I had my own little mini fridge and I kept like a couple of frozen meals in there I didn't really eat them because I did have the dining hall pass so like I didn't really need meals in my room I don't even know why I had them so some of them ended up spoiling and going bad and they went bad in my fridge and I didn't even notice it because like as I said I wasn't really going in my fridge to eat because I had the meal plan so I didn't even realize my food was spoiled and then like it would start smelling up the room and my roommates would get mad at me so you kind of just want to avoid having perishable food in your fridge I recommend bringing like maybe one or two of those like frozen meals because over the weekends um the dining hall does close which no one really talks about but um at night on the weekends the dining hall is closed when the dining hall is open you're most likely not going to eat the frozen meals because who would take frozen meals over hot food i wouldn't i personally prefer the hot food but um you're gonna forget about it and it's gonna spoil and that's gonna suck i recommend not having any perishable food unless you are gonna eat it like right then and there next i recommend you don't bring too many storage bins or like those like plastic bins that you get from Target. I had like so many that I didn't even know what to do with them. I definitely underestimated the amount of storage I would need. This is another thing that like I struggled with. So you don't really want to bring too much like decor items I would say. So in the dorms you don't get that much like space to put things on. The dorms where I go to school, I go to Georgia State if you didn't know, but the dorms where I go to school we got a dresser, a little like cubby cube thing, and then a desk. And when I say decor, I mean like little like figurines and knickknacks and like picture frames and things like that. So you don't want to bring too much decor and like random little knickknacky things because there's not a lot of places to put them. And if you bring too much of that stuff, it honestly just kind of looks junky and looks cluttered. And again, like in a small space, it's very easy to make it look cluttered with too many little things. So just keep that in mind when you're going shopping. You don't want to bring too much decor. But yeah, and also if you bring too much decor and you have it all on your desk, you're not going to have that much space to actually use the desk for what it was meant for, which is homework. I remember I had so much decor on my desk, I had like a little like square space to put like my work and like do my work on my desk, which is so incredibly stupid. Like the desk is meant for homework not decor items. The next thing you definitely want to avoid bringing to college with you is expensive items. So 
in college people steal and I'm not saying people are like committing grand theft auto or anything even though someone's car did get stolen at my school but um I'm meaning more of like people steal like little things I remember I was studying out in the little like study corner in my dorm and I left my charger for like a minute and I got back and it was gone because someone had stolen it people literally just take things that don't belong to them because they're just there. You know, like a phone charger isn't that big of a deal. I can just literally buy a new one for like $15. But imagine if you would have left your laptop sitting out on like the study area because you have to go to the bathroom or something. Like someone could easily just come take it and you know, like maybe they would investigate and try to find them. I feel like overall the school isn't really going to care that much because um, you know, you sign the disclosure agreements and everything and it's not really their responsibility. And you know, just like keep in mind that like everyone isn't really raised exactly the way you were raised so you know like while some people were taught that like stealing's wrong stealing's bad there are people out there that believe stealing is just something that you have to do there are some people out there that believe that like taking something isn't a big deal if you have any valuable expensive items i suggest leaving them at home but it's a lot more common than you might think and it's not really like big things either people literally will steal anything something that's just so simple and small people can steal i can't imagine um if i were to bring like expensive like camera equipment and expensive jewelry and stuff with me to college it would definitely be gone or if you're going to bring some of that stuff then definitely don't tell people about it keep it hidden i feel like it's honestly kind of like unavoidable almost especially when you're living with someone i feel like if like maybe your roommate sees that you have makeup wipes and they casually just go take one of your makeup wipes because you're not there so in conclusion don't bring expensive things to college and it's also more of a thing of like you know you may know someone but you don't really know someone because you know like you just don't know how people are raised so um if you can avoid bringing expensive things with you to college if you're going to be in a dorm with a bunch of random people you don't know next i want to talk about something that i feel is or should be common sense but you do not want to bring with you to college a personal toaster oven or blender um that is very dangerous and very just like kind of like rude almost i feel like you know like being in the dorms you don't really want to like have food cooking in your rooms because you know like there's people living around with you who may not like it i just feel like it's more of something about like being considerate of other people if you're going to bring a toaster just like be as considerate as possible you know like don't cook things at night when people are trying to sleep um definitely don't burn things i remember people had toaster ovens on my like floor in my dorm room and um, they would always burn things and it would always set off the fire alarms. Um, the whole building would have to get evacuated. It would smell awful for days. Also, there's really no need to bring your own toaster oven because um, the dining hall's toaster oven is there. And the dining hall also has blenders and microwaves and um, most colleges actually have microwaves on their floor. So there's really no need to have your own toaster oven or blender in your room. The last thing I want to talk to you guys is the pinnacle of the most annoying thing you could ever bring with you to a dorm room so i'm not going to show you the whole thing but i want to show you my hamper this is a giant plastic hamper and this is the one that i brought with me to college last year and i never had so many regrets in my entire life this thing was incredibly annoying to deal with it's so incredibly big it's very obnoxiously like wide so um it didn't fit in my closet there was no floor space for it to go on because the floor was so small. It's just so incredibly annoying and I got it at Target for $3 which, you know, the price point and the pretty pink color kind of made me want to buy it. I do not recommend this at all. It takes up a lot of space. Um, in college, there's very limited floor space. You don't really want to have too many things on your floor. There's really no other place for it to go other than the floor so most of the time it was just out of my floor and my dirty clothes were out and it was just like not cute not a cute look so um avoid bringing big plastic hampers um definitely take the college's advice and get a mesh or a cloth one that hangs up on the back of your closet door so that you can avoid having things on the floor 
So that is it for today's video. I hope I was able to help some of you guys figure out kind of more of what you actually need and things you don't need. I also have a video up on my channel talking about what you should bring to college, so definitely go check that out if you want to. If you have any questions about um, more college-y things, I'd be happy to answer them. So yes, I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye!